hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this bantu nuts I think that's what they call bantu nut nuts um, for short natural hair if you have a short natural hair I'm gonna be showing you today how to make this so you can get a really nice curl even though you have short hair if you want to see how I achieve this look just keep on watching and I actually already did all of it but I'm gonna just take out this two and just to show you how to do it if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye. I already took out this hair piece, so you just want to cut out the um, piece you want. And then, after you cut out the piece you want, I'm going to go ahead and use this sheer butter um, curl stretch. It's pretty much help your um, curls stretch out a little bit if you have a really nappy afro kind of hair like I do. So I'm usually just take a little bit like that. And one thing I want to say, you do not want to take too much. You want to take enough just to damp it, but not wet it because you want to make it let it dry. And you don't want to take too long to dry. So you just want to take a little bit and then you just rub it in. Just rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. <laughs> so after you rub it in and it's a little bit um damp and then you want to go I usually go ahead and take this coconut oil grease and then I just take a little bit of it and then I mush it in my hand and also rub it in as well so you want to just rub it in it will help it to shine give it that shine and nice um long curly stretch so after that you want to separate it separate it like that and then you want to twist it. After you twist it, then you want to um, roll it together while you're twisting it. So you twist, roll. Twist, twist, roll. <laughs> twist, roll. Twist, roll. And you want to make sure it's tight as how you would want it. So make sure you pull it to make sure it's tight. And then you twist, you roll. Twist. So you pretty much just do the same thing or you can even just twist it like this and roll I look like a village girl right now <laughs> and then after that after you get your twist then you want to just roll it in a circular motion And you do not have to pin it or, um, or, um, and that's pretty much how it looks. So I'm going to do the same for this side. I'm going to unloose it. Also, you want to comb your hair after you moisturize it. So that way it will be a lot easier to roll. So I'm just going to twist and roll. Twist and roll. Twist and roll. Twist and roll. And while you're twisting it, you want to tighten it by pulling it on each end. Don't pull your hair out now. <laughs> and then you just want to Swirl it on a sec circular motion until the whole and just finish. And that's it. And after that, you just want to let it sit for the whole day or overnight. That's one reason why I say you do not want to damp it too much because you want it to have the maximum dryness to give you the maximum results. So you just let it sit for a day or overnight. And then in the morning, you just take it apart. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. It was really helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thank you. Bye.